Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at all of the laptops that I own. The first one here, this one, is a HP 250G2, whatever it's called, I can't remember. It has an Intel Core i3-3110M at 2.4GHz, 8GB DDR3 RAM, which upgraded from the 6 it came with when I got it. Uh, and it also has like a 750GB hard drive, uses Intel on board graphics. Nothing much more to say about that. Got it for free. Upgraded the RAM. It's working, as you can see, just fine. Next computer is the uh, the Compact Presario CQ61 or Presario, however you guys want to say it. So this has got an Intel Seller on T3100 at 1.9 gigahertz. Two gigs DDR2 RAM. It's got 250 gig hard drive. As you can see, it's running the original Compact install of Windows. 7 and I guess as you can see the battery is having some technical issues basically I don't think it works very well anymore again it just uses the Intel graphics it's Windows 7 Home, oh I've got that, that's Windows 7 Pro Windows 7 Home Premium this did originally have Windows 8 but whoever had it before me downgraded to Windows 7 and I couldn't be bothered to upgrade it as you can see here Windows has detected a hard disk problem on the compact, does it all the time, it's been doing that for like the last five years it's fine well it's not, it's going to die one day but still running for now, so that's always good the next computer we have is up here this is the red HP Pavilion G6 it has got an Intel Pentium 2020M at 2.4GHz, 6GB DDR3 RAM 500 gig hard drive, currently runs Windows 10 Home. Originally when I got it, it had Windows 8, I believe, and upgraded to 8.1, and then upgraded to 10, and it stayed on that. Down here is another laptop that I got for free. This is the Dell Inspiron N5110. It has an Intel Core i3 2310M at 2.1 gigahertz. 6 gigs DDR3 RAM, which I upgraded because it didn't have any when I got it because I got it um, for free, again, like the HP over there. Yeah, I've got a note sheet. <laughs> um, a 640 gig hard drive or something like that. Currently went in Windows 7 Professional, as you can see there. Did have Windows 7 Home Premium, but it got all of the previous owner's photos and personal information on it, so I basically just wiped it. And put Windows 7 Pro on there, because why would you have Home Premium? Well, you have a computer that's got Home Premium, so I put Pro on it because that's what I had lying around, that's what I had a key for. Next up is the Acer Aspire 1 D255. This has a Intel Atom N450 at 1.66 GHz. It's got 2 gigs of DDR2 RAM, which I upgraded from the 1 gig it had originally. It's got 160 gig hard drive. It also runs Android, but I can't remember exactly what version it is. But right now it's running Windows 7 Home Premium again. It used to have Windows 7 Starter, I upgraded that to Home Premium, and it's got Android on it. Basically got no programs on it, don't really use it very often, but it's alright if you just want to sort of have a laptop you can just sort of throw around a bit. I mean, yeah, technically it's a netbook, but I thought I'd include it in this video because I'm not going to make a whole video dedicated on, a net, on my netbook collection when I only have one netbook. So I threw it in the laptops video. Finally, the last laptop last but not least is a laptop you guys have probably all seen before if you've watched my other videos this here is the Dell Latitude CPIA series it has a Pentium 2 at 366 megahertz something like that 128 megabytes of RAM it's got some Neo Magic video card can't remember exactly what model it is it's got a 6 gig hard drive it sounds like it's on its way out mind you what to expect from a computer of this age it's currently running Windows 98 first edition, I believe this is. You see that is what it was designed for, Windows 98 and NT, so I put 98 on there. Um, yeah, it's doing alright. Seen a couple of videos on it now. Well, I've got a battery for it, don't know if I mentioned that. I think I probably did in a previous video. It's currently got the floppy drive in it, but I have also got the CD drive. So that is a complete look at all of my laptops. Yes, there are more computers over there. Yes, we will get to them eventually. But for now, this is just a quick video of going over all my laptops. 
Bear in mind, if any of these like that Dell looks like the screen is flickering, in real life it isn't. It's just the camera. Um, the HP is going to sleep now, so I'm going to end the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.